Today I'm going to review this. It is the MuGig MT1S Tuner Metronome. Before I get started, I wanted to just make a quick mention about why I bought this. Um, up till now I've been using a free app on my phone which has both a tuner and a metronome. Um, but I decided to get this dedicated one mainly because sometimes my phone is running out of batteries or it may be charging in the other room um, or for one reason or other I just uh, don't want to use the phone uh, for, for the tuner or metronome on that. The other reason is, so I'll just demonstrate, it, it can you know be a bit of a hassle, you've got to look for the right app. Um, there it is, go in, wait for it to open up um, and if you want to use the metronome you've got to go find it and it, this is a nice um, a nice little metronome got no problems with it but um, you know sometimes it's just a bit fiddly to to use it so that and also as I say the sort of battery issue is why I wanted to get this dedicated one um, this cost five ninety nine, so very cheap. So let's start by looking what's inside the box. Now, you may not be familiar with uh, tuner all tuners. They don't all come with uh, an attachment like this. Um, basically, what we've got is. Um, tuner itself it came pre-packed with uh, or came along with two double uh, A treble A batteries uh, this is for attaching it to an acoustic guitar so you you can either use the mic here or you can actually plug this in either to an electric guitar or use this just to um, attach to your acoustic to, to pick up the vibrations Really, the idea of that is, I guess, if you're in a noisy environment, um, then you get a, a, a connection straight to the tuner rather than using the, the mic. Uh, I find the mic works fine in most situations. If I'm tuning with my electric guitar, I, I will plug it in, uh, but it's not, ne not that necessary, really. So let's start by turning it on. There you go, and as you can see, it's on the tuner mode. And uh, what I'm going to start off by doing is show you the metronome. So we switch to that by holding this down. And we're now in the metronome mode. You can see it's currently set to 103 beats per minute. Let's bring it down to 100. Nice round number, and it's currently set at 5 beats to the bar. Um, we can change that by pressing this and it goes from 0 up to 9. Let's go with a standard 4 beats per bar. And uh, lastly, we can change the uh, uh, value of the notes being played. Um, so let me just start it playing so you can hear. So you can, as you can see, there's a visual display at the top. The first beat in the bar is noted as red. And then the, the following ones are green. And you can see a little ticker, uh, metronome ticker going backwards and forwards there. And there's volume on the side, so you can, you can have this fairly loud. Um, you can also plug it into headphones. Uh, or if you want, you can just use the, the visual uh, and have the, the sound turned down completely. And then just to show you, to change the value of the notes, you can press this button. You can have triplets, uh, swing beat there, sixteenths, and then some other rhythms, probably less common. So it's quite a good uh, variety there. That's something that my uh, phone app doesn't have. Um, and then just to show you the uh, 
various beats per bar you can set there. So that was the metronome, now let's have a look at the tuner. Hold this button here down to change the mode to tuner. So as you can see it's set to standard 440 hertz for an A. And uh, there you go, the tuner's kicked in, it's picking up my voice. So it is trying to tune to my voice. Um, you'll see that there's a G down the bottom here. So this is now, this is set on guitar setting. I can actually change that by pressing this button here. So we've got C for chromatic, G for guitar, B for bass, V for violin, I believe, and U for ukulele or banjo. Uh, so I think these are fairly standard tuner settings, nothing particularly new about that, uh, but it's, they're useful to have. Put it back to guitar now, just to test it out, I will go and grab a guitar and we'll see how it tunes. So that's tuning just with the external mic and let's try it with uh, the attachment. So to do this I just need to plug in the acoustic pickup and on the other end I'm attaching this clip, this chat attaching this clip to the sound hole of the guitar. Just making sure it doesn't contact the strings. So that tunes very well. Um, responds quite easily. The other thing to note about the uh, tuner is uh, you can generate tuning sounds with this button here. Only other thing to mention uh, is that it's got a little stand here so you can prop it up like that and if I didn't mention already there are there's a headphone jack there. So there you have it, the Mugig MT15 Tuner Metronome. I think it's well worth the, the price, it was only £5.99 uh, at a reduced price. But I'd say anything under £10 it's, it's worth buying. Probably in the US you can buy it for $10 or less. So, thanks for watching.